All right, question of the week in Blux Review number 28. Our question is, which muscle stabilizes or holds the scapula against the thoracic cage? Is it gonna be A, the subscapularis, B, the serratus anterior, C, serratus posterior superior, or D, the latissimus dorsi? One more time. Which muscle stabilizes the scapula against the thoracic cage? Is it gonna be the subscapularis, the serratus anterior, serratus posterior superior, or the latissimus dorsi? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this question, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which muscle stabilizes or holds the scapula against the thoracic cage, and we had a great turnout here. We had 48 votes. Now, 56% of you said it was the subscapularis. 17% of you said it was the serratus anterior. 8% of you said it was the serratus posterior superior. And then 19% of you said it was the latissimus dorsi. And then thank you to the eight people who liked this post. So a majority of you said it was the subscapularis. So let's see if this is the correct answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the subscapularis. Now, this is going to be the anterior view of the subscapularis as well as in this picture. Now the subscapularis is going to originate at the subscapular fossa and then it's going to insert onto the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Now although this muscle appears to be sandwiched between the thoracic cage and the scapula, this muscle does not attach itself to the thoracic cage at all. So this muscle does not stabilize the scapula against the thoracic cage. So A subscapularis is not the correct answer. Next, we have the latissimus dorsi, which is going to be the broadest muscle of our back. And so this muscle is going to originate at the thoracolumbar fascia, also known as the thoracolumbar aponeurosis. And a few of these muscle fibers are going to originate at the spinous processes of the vertebrae, a few of the lower ribs, and a few of the muscle fibers are going to originate on the inferior angle of the scapula. This muscle is then going to insert on the intertubercular groove of the humerus. Now, this is going to be the intertubercular groove of the humerus. It's also known as the bicipital groove. It is the groove that is between the lesser tubercle and the greater tubercle. It is known as the intertubercular groove, also known as the bicipital groove because we have the long head of the biceps tendon that runs through here. So that's why it's known as the bicipital groove as well. And so this is where the latissimus dorsi is is going to insert on the humerus. Now, although a few of these muscle fibers are going to attach to the inferior angle of the scapula, this muscle is still not the muscle that is responsible for stabilizing the scapula to the thoracic cage. So D, the latissimus dorsi, is also not the correct answer. So let's take a look at another muscle. We have the serratus posterior superior. Now, this muscle is going to originate at the spinous processes of C7 all the way to T3. And then it's going to insert on the surface of ribs 2, three, four, and five. So again, here's another muscle that does not stabilize the scapula against the thoracic cage. This muscle doesn't even attach to the scapula. And so you can see the scapula right here, it's translucent. You can tell that this muscle does not even attach to the scapula. And so C, the serratus posterior superior is also not the correct answer, leaving us with the serratus anterior. So here we have the serratus anterior, and this muscle is very interesting. I like this muscle. This muscle originates at the surface of of our ribs, so you can see it here originating at the surface of our ribs. And then this muscle is going to wrap around our thoracic cage and it's going to wrap underneath the scapula. You can tell that the scapula is here because it's translucent. And so it's gonna wrap around the thoracic cage, it's gonna go underneath the scapula, and then it's going to attach to our medial border of our scapula. This is also known as the vertebral border because it's closer to the vertebral column. And so this muscle is responsible for stabilizing or holding the scapula against the thoracic cage. So the correct answer here is B, the serratus anterior. So 17% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to dive back into your textbooks and learn the origins insertions of the major muscles before you go into the emblex. Make sure you know those, especially the major muscles. Also bear in mind, you can also check out my Patreon page where I go more in depth on materials that you're likely to see on the Inblex, or if you need more help with questions like these, perhaps understanding, becoming a better test taker, I would encourage you to book me for tutoring. So I will leave links in the description below, so make sure you check those out. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.